Hello once again dudes, my name is Emil and uh, welcome to the 5th XHTML tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be working with the basic start off tags. Alright, so the first tag we're going to type in. And the way you know if a tag is valid is if it is sliding blue up. Um, so <clears throat> the first tag we'll need is HTML tags. Now basically these are roots element that you need. Um, inside these is the website that shows up, honestly. Um, so after you have the uh, XH, uh, no, sorry, HTML tags, everything you type in between uh, will be part of the website, as I told you. We have head tags, which is the next tags we'll be creating, which inside here keeps options that is necessary for a website to look nice or be nice. Um, but first, let's go ahead in our HTML tags and make a attribute called lang which stands for language and set it equals to e and which stands for english so that's the language i'm going to be using you can set equals to de for deutsch or da for danish or i don't know but we're going to be using en all right so inside these head tags go ahead and add a title and uh, this is very important let me i want to mention this um when working with xhtml inside your head tag uh, there is a lot of options you can add, but in XHTML, the title gotta be the first tag in there. That is a rule of XHTML. The other tag, well, the other tags you decide the way you've been using them. But I'm gonna, uh, it's necessary. But in the title tag, everything you type in in between will be the thing that shows up here. So I'm gonna say like, title, the, and save it. If you refresh this. See, title there. So this is basically what's going on if you're adding a title. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be working with more head tags. And these are, for instance, me yeah, the media tag. That's what we're going to be working with, honestly, actually. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next tutorial.